never mind you We'll drag you home and then we'll all again grind you Oh, you'll be hurt Hi, it's Nasty Neal And Annabelle Lecter And we're here at Rock and Shock in Worcester, Massachusetts And we were with Sid Haig, the real icon of the horror world Hey, how yeah. you doing? I'm doing good. good. It's actually the first guest we ever interviewed to. She yeah. wasn't around back then. But no, on the radio show. She's really young. Yeah. yeah she I'm was a, a kid. She's still a kid. Yeah. What kind of uh, current projects do you have out? I, you know, I just finished my 60, uh, 70 second film. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, called High on the Hog. And at 6 o'clock tomorrow night, upstairs, they're screening Mimesis, which I'm in. Mm -hmm. And it had an amazing run through all of the film festivals and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I believe Anchor Bay picked it up. And they're doing a limited release, which means just like major cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to do a, a big DVD campaign. Yeah. So it's, good. it's all good. Yeah. yeah. I didn't mention this. We were at Coolidge Theater in Massachusetts not uh, too long ago. And we saw um, House of a Thousand Corpses on the big screen. And it was like really wild. The performance really stands out in that. And um, you bring that to every role you have to just, no matter what role it is, you try to find, you know, the, the perfect character for it. I have to. That's my mm -hmm. job. That's the job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, there might be a lesser movie you think, well, I'm not going to put my no, own no, in. No, 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 no. Do you, uh, okay. He's been in 60, when 60 you go seven for a reason. When you go to work, do you phone it in or do you do your yeah. job? Right. I'm self employed, so. Well, <laughs> okay, so then you can kick your own ass. <laughs> right, right. Okay, all right, good. No, I've never phoned anything in in my life, and I never will. Mm -hmm. But how much of that role was what was written, and how much of it was, you know, what you added to it? In House of a Thousand Corpses? Yeah. I fooled with it a lot, yeah. okay? But it was with Rob's blessing, Yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. um, I just was having fun. There's so many layers to the role. It's not just, he's not just funny, he's scary, and he's realistic. I don't know, there's, a, there's all kinds of things going on there. Yeah, well, I, that's what I try to do with everything that I do. Yeah. Because there's a whole lot of things going on with everybody. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have a lot of opportunities to work with directors that are like Rob, that are open to your personal, you know, Quentin Tarantino art is one. Yeah. Uh, Jack Hill, who I started my career with, mm -hmm. is that way. Uh, there's a few directors out there that get that all you really have to do is make your vision clear to the performer and then get the hell out of the way and let him do his job. Yeah. You know? If there's a, I'm sorry, if there's one standout performance that you've done that you would say, this is my pride and joy, watch this, what would it be? Uh, a, a little film that I did called Little Big Top. Okay. It's probably the best thing I've ever done. But nobody's seen it. Well, now we'll see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. How easy is it to find? You Rob would go to my website, sidhaig.com, uh -huh. uh -huh. and order it from me. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that's what we'll be doing later on here. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you for uh, talking to us. There's a big line here, so we're going to get out of here. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Or Sid, Sid's going to take us out or something. Uh, <laughs> get, get the fuck out of here. <laughs>